how big a miss is he going to be today? I personally think absolutely huge. I think he's been uh, a real star for Palace this season. I think there's only two other players who've played more minutes than Conor Gallagher. Um, and of course, he can't play today because his parent club is Chelsea. Um, he's, he's been in goal scoring form. He's actually managed to score eight goals and he's had five assists in all competitions. Um, what I really like about him is he's always looking to get in and around the box. Um, he's alert to things and, OK, maybe a touch fortunate with that finish. But, you know, he finds space and invariably his ability to not only bring the ball down, but then to calmly finish says an awful lot about him. Um, you know, looking at him when he was at West Bromwich Albion, I thought he had a great future. And since he's gone to Palace this season, I think he's been brilliantly managed. And as an individual within the team, he's delivered almost every game he's played in. Yeah, and the, uh, the two players who have played more minutes than he has are defensive players. So in terms of the attacking talent that they have, he's been number one effectively, at least for minutes uh, involved throughout the course of the season. Mario, um, I'm going to come to you first. I would love Gary's input here. As someone that's come from the continent and then played in England, what's your, what's your assessment when it comes to loan players up against their parent clubs? Because most of the time in England, unless special dispensation is given, it's not allowed. But we're discussing off camera, Luar Luar uh, scoring uh, against Newcastle. He went on to Portsmouth. There have been a couple of other examples along the way. David Nielsen, Wimbledon and Norwich. And more famous examples would have to be Thibaut Courtois, up against Chelsea when he was on loan at Atletico Madrid, knocking them out of the Champions League semi-finals. James Rodriguez uh, against Real Madrid when he was at Bayern. Uh, who else? Coutinho, Bayern again, this time against Barcelona. There have been quite a few along the way, and it seems to be a much more relaxed rule, or rather a lack of, on the continent as opposed to England. Do you think it's right? Yeah, look, I, I me, mean, I'll talk for a player aspect. If you're a player, you want to play every game. You know, it doesn't matter, especially when you are going alone, you want to prove a point to the manager or the club that they made a mistake. When it comes to the club, I totally can understand that they want to protect themselves and don't want you to play against them and make them lose out to what they want to go after. So on that scale, I understand. The, the key thing for any player or any person that's in this situation comes at the beginning of the, the season, you know, or whatever, the beginning of your, your loan deal. When you come in the beginning of your loan deal, there's a line in that. And that line says, you either can participate or you can't. And it's up to you what choice you make in the negotiation. And I think after that, you made that choice, then you got to let it go because you already made that choice. If that choice can be changed, you have to jump on it because you want to play. You know that game is going to come up. And let me tell you one thing. <laughs> I've seen it happen so many times. And for you to sit out the game against a team that sent you on loan is one of the hardest things to take because that is the moment you can prove them wrong. But you can't do it because you can't play. OK, before Gary gives his answer, Mario, I wonder whether you think it's right or not because, like I'm just trying to stress, all the other competitions across Europe don't seem to have an issue with it. It's just in England. So do you think it's right or wrong? Oh, no, I... I, I... That's why I said, you know, I, I went from both sides. I think um, as, as a player, I think it's definitely wrong. <laughs> but as a club, I totally understand it. So, yeah, if I had a club, I would say it's right. Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Well, p personally, I, I think it keeps it nice and clean if you have that rule or law that you cannot play against your parent club. I think there's all sorts of emotions there. Um, and, and I think that potentially it can lead to, um, you know, undermining the competition a little bit. You know, a player has an opportunity to score a penalty in the last minute against his parent club. He misses the penalty badly. There will be questions asked. And I think it just takes out anything that is dubious or doubtful. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. OK, well, it is a case for this FA Cup semi-final. Thomas Tuchel has said he bumped into Conor Gallagher at a restaurant and actually apologised. He's also done so at a press conference. So he can quite clearly understand the anguish which Conor Gallagher will be feeling not to be involved in this uh, historic semi-final between the two London clubs.